Hi everyone. In this demo, we're trying to show a use case of how to export a file from SSE using our SAP IRP bot. In order to download a file, the user needs to log in into SSE, go to the right folder, open the file, and then export it. This is a very manual task. We are using SAP IRP bot to automate this process. For the purpose of this demo, we are dividing this entire process into two parts. Part one, we will cover how to automate the login page for SSE. And in part two, we will cover how to automate uh, the process of downloading a file or exporting a file from SSE. Now let's look into the part one. In order to capture a new application, you can first click on create on the left hand corner and select create application. You will now capture your first screen. So I have already captured the screens in advance for the purpose of the demo. So I've captured the SAP SAC screen and we would declare the elements username, password and login. That would help us to set certain actions that the bot needs to do when we are trying to create the automation for it. <clears throat> now let's look at the automation for for this bot. So we would start it using the SAP HANA login screen that you saw that we just captured in our application. I generally use the wait command so that it gives enough time for the bot to uh, download the page before the bot takes the next action. Then I have used a screen switch command. A screen switch handles the situation of a task defined by which screen we are on and what should be the next. So for example, if the user is not logged in, the bot will enter the username, set the password and click on login to log in the user. But in case the user is already logged in, then it will directly take the user to the home page. So this is the automation uh, part of how to log in into SSE using the RPA bot. We will test everything after we I explain you the second part. Now let's look at the part two in which we are trying to automate the bot on opening the folders, opening the actual file, and then downloading it. So first we would capture all the required screens. Um, so first I have captured the SAP, a, a, SAP analytics screen and I have captured my files and public folder. Uh, the reason I've captured these two is because my final file, which I want to download, is saved in, in the path my files, public folder, SAP IRP folder, and then I have given my file name. So I will capture all those different pages to so that the bot knows from which file they have to go on to which folder. So I've captured my files and public folder. Now I have also captured the next page, which is the IRP test folder. I have and then I have captured the final page where is where my test file is located for the purpose of this demo. Now once the bot opens the test file, it now needs to download this file. So I've captured the first screen of how the table looks like when the bot will open my file. Now the bot needs to click on these three dots which will then further give you uh, a drop down and you can export the file. So I have captured an element and named it as spam right now. And then I have captured this drop down and created an element for export. Once you click on export, the bot needs to give the name of the file and click on OK. So I have declared two elements, which is name and OK, so that the bot can enter the name and then click on OK to in order to export the file. So now let's look at the automation. So we would start by calling the SSC login uh, login automation, which I had already explained a few minutes back. And now I've called the screen switch to make sure that my uh, bot always goes to the my files folder page. So once it is already there, now my bot will basically click on the public folder. And similarly, like I explained from the public folder, I want to go I want my bot to go to the other page and now I should click on the RPA test folder. And once it is on the RPA test folder, it should now click on the test file so that the, it can open the file. And once the file is open, now my bot will basically click on the more, the three dots that we had declared. 
it will export the three dots and then enter the and click on OK in order to export the file. So this is how you would capture all your different pages and create your automation in order to download a file from SAC using an SAP IRP bot. Now let's look into the demo. We are now triggering the RPA bot to execute the application. The RPA is now opening the SSC application. It will enter the username and the password and log in into the SSC application automatically. Once the RPA has logged in, it will then go to the files, the public folder and open the IRPA test file, which we have created for the purpose of this demo. It is now downloading the file to the desktop. If you see, it has downloaded this file at the end of your desktop. So let me just open this file in order to show that the file is pretty much the same what is the present in the SSE application. Thank you all for watching this demo.